Okay, so one of the subscribers wanted to see this painting um, when it was cured, and here it is. It really didn't move too much at all. This is one of from my other paint um, videos. Hello, everybody. Today I'm doing a painting on a 10 by 20 thing. Here's like the edges to the frame. I paid a dollar at my local thrift shop um, for this. Usually I'll resin this, but this one's so thin that I'm actually gonna resin the board, which is cool because it has the hangers already. And I have my little stands. I got my buddy Duke back there. He is a great Dane for all you wondering what kind of dog it is. <laughs> so um, he's my best friend. He's always in here with me. Actually, he's everywhere I go, he's with me. So I'm going to use today, um, I'm gonna use black diamond orange, black diamond yellow, resin obsession purple and yellow. And the reason why I'm using two different yellows is because this one's, when whenever you mix the resin in with this, it actually looks like a limey yellow and I want more of a yellow yellow. And then I don't have any black diamond purple, but I do have this mica purple that I bought. East Coast Epoxy today. One, two, three, four, five. Thought I grabbed enough cups, but I guess not. Four, five. So I'm just gonna pour some resin in each cup. So now I'm going to grab my tongue depressors or popsicle sticks, whatever you have to mix with. And I'm gonna start with orange. I didn't open these yet. I just got them in the mail today, so I'm so excited to use them. Look how bright that orange is. Now mica powder is actually a very shimmery, um, it comes out very shimmery, that's all I can say. So you just need a little tiny scoop Pour it into your cup and stir it around. Now this you wanna mix super good because if you don't mix it good, you'll end up with clumps. You do not want clumps in your painting, so stir away, everybody. Don't be afraid to keep mixing for a while. Can't scoop it out with my tongue depressor, so I'm just pouring a little bit in, not too much. That color is done. I'm getting powders everywhere on my board. Don't want that. And black diamond yellow, Micah. This is gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty. That's pretty. That's a pretty color. You know what? I'm gonna add maybe just a drop of yellow to this to make it more concentrated. You don't have to do that. I just want my yellow really popping yellow. Just, that's probably too much. I only needed a drop, but it was, I had to squeeze it really hard to come out. Much better. Shimmery. I'm adding um, dark purple. Now, this stuff is super concentrated. This bottle will last you forever. You just need like a drop. That's it. And watch how dark this gets. Super dark. Almost looks black. Look at that. One drop, that's all I put. Yeah, crazy. That's from Resin Obsession. I love their stuff. It's super concentrated. A little tiny bit goes a long way. Now with the inks, they're not shimmery, but the mica powders, all everything shimmers. Very pretty. I was gonna use gold. Gotta have my gold. So I forgot to get it. Let me get that real quick. 
some of this spray paint into this little cup. All I did was spray it. That's my clear. Okay, so I have a little excess clear in my cup that I'm just gonna pour on here. Now this purple is super, super dark, as you can see. You see my dog sucking on his blanket in the background? Oh, he's so cute. Now I'm gonna grab my orange. I'm just pouring it wherever I'm feeling it. You guys can pour it wherever you feel it. You wanna make something special, you want it to look a certain way, just put it on there. You can go over top colors, you can go underneath colors, you can do whatever you want. Put it wherever you feel it, like I said. And this is my light purple. I want to get every drop of resin out. That's why I'm pouring my cups up top. See how much resin comes out? There's a lot left in these cups. A whole lot. Okay. Now I'm going to get my heat gun up. Oh, a little bit more orange, sorry. One that's a little bit brighter coming across. And by moving it around, you can get it to do stuff. Make a new design, do whatever. I'm just going to add more color here and there. Shh. Juki. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Add a, bit, a little bit of dark purple. Now, I poured a little bit of spray paint, gold spray paint in this cup, and I'm just gonna put it on here.
Okay, I tried to get a little bit closer so you could see what this gold is doing. I don't know if you can still see it, but... Just want to add a couple drops here and there of gold. I love my gold. This spray paint stinks. Even though I have a face mask on, it stinks. Whew. I don't know about working with this stuff. I have a little bit of orange that I want to put in here. Ah, right here. I'm trying to multitask here. And just a little bit of yellow, and we'll be all right. A little bit more orange, huh? All right, let me shut this off. Well, actually, it's gonna sit there and cool. It runs if I put it down forever, trying to cool itself down. A little bit more orange. A little bit more popping right here. So I want the colors to blend into each other. Perfect. Okay. That's it. Now I'm going to take the camera down so you can view it all. So if y'all liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring that little bell so you get notifications on my next video. Thanks everybody for watching.